Hey everybody, this is Deborah Richmond. I am working on a baby quilt today, getting it ready to quilt, and I thought I would take some time and just kind of give you some tips on pasting a quilt together as you're getting it ready to quilt. So let me just show you what I'm doing here. I have, um, this is the baby quilt top that you can see, of course, that I'm going to be quilting. The first thing I did was to lie down my backing. Now I have a piece of backing that is actually pretty large, much larger than the quilt itself. Um, that I have laid down first. The second piece that I then laid down on the table is um, the batting piece underneath. And then on top, of course, is the quilt top. Now, a couple of things that this is um, a smaller piece, the baby quilt is smaller, of course, so I like to do the pinning basting for this. There's different types of basting. This is with pins. Now, I can tell you that when I baste with pins, I always use the um, nickel they're made of nickel, the, pin, the safety pins. And so I will give you information below on how you can get a hold of that. But I keep these particular pins um, in my sewing stash because I want to make sure that they are the nickel-based pins, they don't rust. So if for some reason I get this ready to quilt and for some reason I don't quilt it for quite a while, um, you don't want those pins to rust because that will ruin this quilt top. And, you, and, and so if, if I waited several months and something happened, I come back to it and some of them are rusted, I would be really upset about that. So just, I always use these pins and keep these types of safety pins in my sewing. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is that um, when I did this, and I, I took it off now, but you, I taped the backing down to the table so I can get it nice and taut um, before I lay it down. I also will show you that I have it all completely pinned. The backing is uh, two different pieces, and you can do that. You can mix it up. I don't always use just one, one solid sheet of um, fabric for the back. Sometimes I use two different types. Sometimes I like to put pieces of extra scraps from the front of the quilt into the back, whatever it is you like to do. The last thing I did want to show you is also that when you're pin basting, the um, rule of thumb is that you should be able to have um, there should be no areas in the quilt that are larger than your hand that don't have a pin. So what I did with this quilt is I started in the corner and I basted, um, pinned, and then I would pin through the rows. And so I would try to hit every block um, or almost every block as I went through. So you can see that there aren't a whole lot of places that's much bigger than my hand giving me a nice coverage, a nice flat piece. It's gonna to hold together as I move it around, as I shift it while I'm quilting. So again, just a few tips on basting a small quilt, getting it ready to quilt. Thank you for joining me. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can do so here by clicking the subscribe button. That way you'll find out about new videos as they become available.